Hello, everyone. So continuing on with art journaling in simple steps, another way to add focal images is using stamped images. We all have a bunch of rubber stamps, and I don't use mine enough. So I do like to just stamp my images on a plain piece of paper. And I have found, or I've been told, and it does really work, I use a mouse pad underneath my paper to give it a little bit of a cushion. You can buy, um, I don't know exactly what they're called, but you can buy cushions for stamping. And putting a little bit of cushion underneath your stamps really does help make the image a little bit more sharp. We can do a little test. I will do a stamped image on the mat. And if you're using a, a permanent ink black, I like to use the permanent inks because I'm going to add color to these and that makes sure that the, the image doesn't move around. But you want to make sure that you have your stamp on the surface for a bit. It gives it a chance for the ink to penetrate the paper and, and make sure that you've got a good image. And that's just, that's good enough. So let's do a little test and I will show you what it looks like without the pad. Let's just do a little experiment. And see the difference. Oh, I don't need that anymore. I don't need the pad anymore. So let me get this stuff out of my way here. All right. Well, not too much of a difference, a little tiny bit, but usually the pad just helps make the image a little bit more crisp. Anyway, so. There are many different ways to add some color to the images before you cut them out and put them in on your art journal pages. So crayon, just a wax crayon. I mean, we've all had color books when we were young, so we can just add a little color with some crayon. We know how to do it. I'm going to make the fish this teal color, and I think I need to make it just a little darker. Let's see if we can get it just a little darker. You get the, the idea, though. You know, just color in. Add some color to it. I was going to make the fins a different color, but I think what I will do is just make them a little darker with the same color. Any way you want to do it. You can use a bunch of different colors or the same a little bit of color. Crayons are fabulous. Colored pencils are also really nice. I've got this uh, this tea pet, these tea kettle. You can take your time and really do a good job with it. And then you don't have to fussy cut it out too too much. You can just kind of do the whole thing. Um you get the idea. I'm not going to color the whole thing, but, or you can use different colors or, you know, shade it, really do a really good job, or just add some color. It's up to you, whatever you want to do, but it's just a great way to add some color to the image. Um, another one is um, watercolors. So I'm going to get a little brush out here, some water, 
And I'm just going to color in one of these butterflies or part of one of these butterflies. I'm going to use um I'm going to use this blue. And I need a little bit more color. So take your time and just add some color. It's a good way to practice watercolors too. And it just adds a little bit of color to your image. Of course, you have to wait for it to dry before you can cut it out. But that's not a problem. Just like that. Gives you a good practice on adding watercolors. And you put a little watercolor wash on this. And it, this is done on just on regular paper, so it's buckling quite a bit. And then I'm going to add a little bit of dark blue, kind of like that, just for some. I added too much water, but just to add some a different color, a little bit more detail. I mean, you can go all out or do this really simple and add the color that way with watercolors. You can actually just do a watercolor wash with a big brush, a lot of water, and just do the whole image. Wait for it to dry and cut it out. Really simple. Adding color that way is really simple. And another way to add color would be acrylic paint. I like to use a wash with acrylic paint. Um, acrylic paint is opaque, which means you usually can't see the image underneath, whatever is underneath. Um, you can't see through it when it's dry. So I like to add a little bit of water. I haven't used this one in a while, have I? Oh, there we go. Get that bit off of there so I can close it again. I like to add a little bit of water to acrylic paint. That makes it a wash. The more water you add, the easier. I'm just going to put a little dab so you can see. Okay. There we go. That's a little bit more than I wanted. Um, and I am just going to use a big old fat brush, add a bunch of water to this. To make the wash. This is gold paint. I don't usually make a wash with gold paint. So I guess we'll see what happens. Maybe just a little bit more water, like that. And just to make a wash, you just brush over your image and it just gives it a light, I might have put too much water in there, a light bit of color. And you can still see the image underneath. And then you can cut that out and you're good to go. So what I might do with this nest, I've got the color pencils out here. Let's make some, let's make some purple eggs on the inside while it's dry. Just coloring in the eggs. Like that. And then over the top is acrylic paint wash. And I'm going to put it quite a bit ar around it so that I don't have to fussy cut all that little bit out. So it all has a little bit of color. I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I'll just cut that out and glue it on a page somewhere. 
So many different ways to add a little bit of color, make some really cool images, and then put them on your art journal page. Thanks for watching.